Hello. I'm Terry. Hi, Terry. How are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you. Thank um, would you, I am here in England doing uh, episodes of my YouTube show, Van Therapy, where I talk to people in my van. Would you like to join me? Yes, please. Ooh, That'd be yay. lovely. Come Thank on you. In. Thank you. Oh, get yourself settled. Welcome to my van. Thank I'm going to make it a little cozy. Okay. Hi, I'm Terry. Hello, Terry. I'm Liz. So, how are you? Very well, thank you. We're here at the Port Elliot Festival. Are you something you frequent? It's the first time. Yeah, I'm here with my friends. Okay. I've never been before. Yeah. So, did you have something you wanted to talk to me about? I am a single mum to two mm. boys, and I just want to say how happy I am with the two boys. They're 11 and 5. Uh huh and they're very colourful. Yes. So the oldest one, he's ADHD and autistic. Okay. So it's been a few battles over the years and he's a very, sometimes a challenging little boy. Right. But I've always learned about positivity and being mindful and, you know, not be nice and calm. Right. And um, it's working out really well. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's 11 years old and um, he's now learnt himself to to feel, you know, talk about things. It's right. like what we're doing now, talking, yeah. and it's amazing. I mean, it sounds like you're doing a great job. It sounds like you don't have any questions for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do really agree with you that uh, that idea of like not reacting, um, you know, and, and, and in that sort of mindful way, yeah. you know, being calm first and then figuring out what the yeah. plan is and, yeah. and, and communicating is the right way to do it. How mm -hmm. did you come upon that as a style of parenting, especially yeah. a child with when, those needs? Um, it's, been, it's been different since he was little and um, I've always explained to him, say your brain is like a, a Ferrari because he loves cars. Your okay. brain's like a Ferrari and you've got mountain bike brakes. So because he's always excited, he's always on the go, it's like trying calm down techniques. And wow. I've printed off loads of different charts, happy, smiley, facey charts. Um, if you feel sad, punch a pillow or get some paper, scrunch it up so that there's different techniques out there just to calm you down. And we all do it. We sit and have a little chat about it. And Ewan said to me the other day, he goes, Mum, he says, laughter is the best medicine. And for Aww. you and to say that, it's it's amazing That's and it works. That's so great. Yeah. Well, I mean, you just sound amazing and I'm sure that everybody would be encouraged by hearing that advice. I, yes. I, I feel yeah. I feel like yeah. you're right on target. Is mm -hmm. that something, have you always been that person? Or I've did always, you? always have, yeah. My mum's always said to me, even as a little girl, I've always been this, they've called me Dizzy Lizzy. <laughs> That's my nickname, Dizzy Lizzy. <laughs> I've always been happy, mellowed out, 38 years young, and I've not got any grey hairs yet. That's so amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow. So and so it's all positivity, and it's just nice just to... And so how do you take care of yourself? Because you sound like you're a really giving mom, like you've really got a great plan. Um, and do you do things I do, yeah. to take care of yourself and to keep yourself in that positive yes. place? Yeah. So what, what are the tricks? I've started to do mindfulness. Uh-huh. So take time out for yourself, just when the boys go to bed, just cup of tea, sit on the bed, read a book, um, do some, listen to some like meditation music just to relax yourself. And I've started to go into some meditation groups uh -huh. where a lady just chats and talks different techniques of breathing techniques. And if you're feeling a bit anxious, you know, breathe it, breathe it out. Breathing in positivity, right. breathing out negativity. Do you have one specific meditation that works really well for you? Um, lying down on the bed and you just feel like your body just relaxes down. And I always imagine um, like the fields, like the festival where there's a big tree. Think of the walking up a hill and then just imagine the tree at the top so that you're walking up that hill and you're just thinking of nothing else. Thinking of that tree, just sitting near the tree and just mellowing out just right. to relax yourself and then walk back down the hill and then you know just all your worries have gone wow and it's did, did you set a timer or anything no i that? don't you i just i just wait do it. It, the journey yeah. of getting up the yes. tree and coming yeah. back down is the amount of time i've done it before where i've tried to have a timer but sometimes the timer makes me jump and then you startle yourself and you feel like you're having okay. a bit of a panic okay. attack okay but no it's just nice 
And then I think when you keep doing it every time, you know then when your body's ready wanting to right. come out of it. Okay, so I have two questions for you because you just seem like a beautiful person that has it all together. Thank you. So I'm, I'm interested in the comparison. Have you been to America? Never, no. I would love to. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm interested to know if, if, if Americans are more stressed out than British people. And, or, or, you know, if their mindset is, is different. Yeah. I feel a little bit from my experience in Cornwall, because I've come here quite a bit and I do love it. Um, I feel like it is different because I feel like your community has a real appreciation of nature and family that you hold on to more tightly Daily, than yes. I feel like we do. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like we've lost that a little bit. And I don't know, maybe that's just my community of Los Angeles. Yeah. You're, you don't really have a comparative value, but do you think Cornwall in general or England in general, that family and nature are more important or is everybody over here on their phones like everyone it, else? Quite a few, but I was talking to my friends the other day and you've noticed society are more mobile phones, talking to your phone, people are texting, ringing, and over the years, it's all changed. We didn't have mobile phones so many years ago, but now when you walk, even walking down the festival, you see people taking photos, which is lovely, but it's the communication, mm. and it's that piece that you miss when you're talking to each other. Well, thank yeah. you so much thank for you sharing. So much. You're such a lovely thank person. Thank you, you are I feel too. so lucky to get to be here. It's just a beautiful place. Thank and, you so uh, much. Oh, thank thanks you. for thank joining you, me. Thank okay, you. so I just had my first interview with a, a person from the UK and she was just beautiful and shared such great advice about the way to live a positive life. And if you uh, subscribe to my channel, you will get to watch more videos from England.